the second crash, your NBC10 investigators uncover old technology could have stopped the train from killing maintenance workers. But on train 89, yes, it would have, pre it would have prevented that. Amtrak 89 was riding through Chester, Delaware County when it hit a crew working on the tracks. Two people were killed. The NBC 10 investigators have been looking into what happened and they uncovered a possible reason for this deadly crash. Here's investigative reporter Mitch Blocker. We have one level three walking wounded, one DLA. We're going to now check the other part, portion of the track. Amtrak 89 was going 106 miles per hour when it hit a backhoe near Chester, killing two maintenance workers. Joe Carter was one of them. Joe Carter paid uh, for the failures of others with his life. Carter's family is suing Amtrak, wondering why Train 89's engineer didn't know the workers were on the tracks. Our investigation dug up dispatch records showing Amtrak notified other railroads of the maintenance work. Dispatch logs show the track in Chester was occupied or fouled between Friday, April 1st and Monday, April 4th. Amtrak 89 hit Carter and his colleague on Sunday, April 3rd. Unfortunately, you're always going to have some sort of human error and nobody's life should be one step away. Jed Dodd worked on Amtrak maintenance crews for seven years. He's now the general chairman of the Railroad's Maintenance Workers Union. He told us, like Amtrak 188, the Amtrak 89 accident shouldn't have happened, that a simple electrical cable put on the track called a shunt would have turned the oncoming railroad traffic signal red, telling trains to stop. There were no shunting devices. In fact, Amtrak had routinely stopped using shunting devices out on the track from what we can see. There was no doubt in my mind that there was no shunt in that track. Railroad engineer Alan Zeremski demonstrated how a shunt mimics a train on the tracks. What it has to do is it has to provide a direct electrical connection uh, across the two rails. They would have known that that crew was there. That would have known that there was something going on on track. Our investigation revealed one possible reason the maintenance crew didn't use a shunt. Amtrak changed its training manual in 2015. This is the manual's 2000 version. In it is a section about the use of a supplemental shunting device. It says this instruction requires the employee in charge of covered fouling activities to apply an approved supplemental shunting device to the tracks. In the 2015 manual, this section is gone. I do know the shunting devices would have prevented it. And if Amtrak had properly trained and qualified their employees, the shunting device would have been there. Amtrak wouldn't say why it removed the supplemental shunting device section from its current manual, but we found it may have been redundant. The North American Railroad operating rules, which all railroads are supposed to follow, do include the section about shunting. Amtrak officials would not agree to schedule an on-camera interview to discuss the protections in place for maintenance workers. So we caught up with Amtrak's vice president of operations at a public event last month. I really can't talk about that because it's just that whole thing with the maintenance workers all in throttle with the NTSB. Right, I'm not asking specifically okay. about Amtrak 89. I'm asking about the, the system itself. Is Amtrak's system set up to protect maintenance workers? I, I, I'm going to have to let that NTSB, because everything is all intertwined with that, though. As the NTSB investigates Amtrak's second deadly accident in our area, Dodd believes those running the railroad need to answer questions about its safety. This management is directly responsible for both of these accidents.